Having a loading screen on a website may seem a bit crazy, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that and tell you why you might want to. Hey everyone, my name is Andy and welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to make a simple yet effective loading screen, which is a bit crazy. It's 2022, websites should be loading like that. But that's the thing, because websites are loading much quicker, they're loading much more content. And what you don't wanna do is produce an amazing looking website that's slow to load. But having a loading screen will at least keep the users engaged just a little bit longer, just enough time for your website to finish loading and they can use it and engage with it. So. Let's have a look. So we're here in CodePen. I've got a very basic website set up. I've got a nav menu with a main and a section. Not much else into it. And in our CSS here, we can see that the nav has a Z index of one. And I'll explain why that's important later on. So we'll just go ahead here and we'll create our div of an ID loading. So I do this very often on camera. So here we set up a position of fixed inset of zero and a background color of that. I like this color. Now as you can see it's straight away taken over the whole screen except for the navbar because we gave our navbar a z index of one. The reason for that is when we scroll, we want our navbar to be visible at all times. However, if we have a loading screen, we don't. We want the loading screen to take over everything. So here we have a perfectly working loading screen. If we change the opacity on this to say 0.5, you can see the web page beneath it. So we want it to be fully opaque to begin with, and we want the transition speed for opacity to be say 500 milliseconds and we'll just ease that one. Now normally I would use a window.onload function to catch this, but we don't have that functionality in CodePen. So we will just have to play it by ear. So we will do let loading equals document.get element by ID of what loading. So that's why I said to use an ID rather than a class when you're naming your loading screen. So what we will do here is we will set a timeout function. I'm not sure why that has decided to jump over there, but I hate it. <laughs> so we will do the loading dot opac uh, style dot opacity equals null. And we will do this over 250 seconds. So there'll be a quick delay and then it will fade away. That's a simple loading screen. Problem is these links don't work because our loading screen is still visible. Well, I say visible, it's still there. It's just not visible anymore. So we need to now remove the loading screen altogether. An easy way to do that is loading Tell you what, we'll add another set timeout function just for the purposes of this. Loading.style.display equals none. And we will do that after 750 seconds. So it's faded out and our links are now links again. Fantastic. It's not much of a loading screen though, is it? It's just a blue screen, which is normally a bad thing that just fades away over time. So we're gonna do something fun. To start off, we are going to remove that functionality that will take our loading screen away. Then we're gonna have some fun in front of this. We're just gonna add a simple little spinner. So we will do loading. We use a nice little pseudo element just so that it's just one thing that we need to worry about. I'm sure you've heard this a hundred times, but if you have a pseudo element and you don't use content of empty, it won't do anything. We don't want it fixed, we want it absolute, and we'll do an inset of 
we'll say 40%. Border radius of 50% because we want a little circle. And we'll do a border of, we'll make it 10 pixels wide. I say 10 pixels, we'll make it solid and we'll make it white. There we go. So what we want is a width of 10%. We're going to use this amazing function of an aspect ratio so that it stays the same size whatever we do. This is going on the width so as you can see it'll get bigger and smaller but it's always going to say at that nice little aspect ratio. Now on here if we make the border top color of say I don't know we'll make it black just for the purposes of this We've got a simple little spinner, doesn't spin yet, so we need to animate it. Animation, we'll call it spinner because I'm very original. So this will spin over one second forever. Lay frames is a new one. Keyframes, spinner. We will do from. Transform, rotate Z zero degrees to transform, rotate Z three sixty degrees. There we have a wonderful little spinner. And if we uncomment this, once the page refreshes. We'll see our spinner and then it'll disappear. And that's how you make a simple but effective loading screen to let your users know that your website is loading and they're not just waiting there doing nothing all day. You can always add to this. You can add different kinds of spinners. You can add some text to say what's happening or just a random quote generator. There's so many things you can do with loading screens. This is just one example. And that's how you make a simple and effective loading screen. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and it will really help me and encourage me to make more videos like this more often. Check out my website, andymill.io, and I will see you next time.